my name is Edith Eddins, and I have been challenged to talk about what happens when bad things happen to good people. I would say that I'm an expert on what happens to good people when bad things happen to them because I was one of those victims, but I'm not a victim now. But at the time, I thought I was a victim. And when it happened to you at the time, especially if you are a child and it happens to you, when you're a child, you don't understand what's going on. When you're a child, you think that the people who love you are supposed to protect you. My book is called Silent Tears, Loud Victory. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's a book about my life growing up as a child. At the age of five, I was molested by my father from the time I was five until I was 12 years old. And when it first happened, being a child, being five years old, you don't understand what's happening to you. You, don't, you just don't understand what's going on, you know. And, and is this something that happens to everybody in their families? You know, I was a child. I've had people, when I've talked about this before and gotten before them, they said to me, well, if I were you, I would have told somebody. I would have said something to somebody. But they don't understand. You're a child. This is someone that's supposed to protect you from the storms. Someone that's supposed to put, in, you know, you're supposed to hold them. They're supposed to hold you in their arms and take care of you. My mind was willing every which way but loose. I could not tell anybody, not even my own mother. I couldn't face the reality that this was really happening to me. I was afraid. I was put in a position that I should not have been put in. I should have been a child. I should not have been put in a position that you got to grow up real quick. And I did grow up real quick because I felt that if this was happening to me, then it must be something that's happening to everybody else. This is a child thinking. But you know what? I look back and I remember a time when I was sitting on my bed and I look up out in the sky and I was looking at the moon that night. And that was the first time I said, God, are you up there? And if you're up there, would you please help me? That was my first recognition of God. My mother believed in God. We prayed and everything, but we never went to church for a while. And I can remember a time that when we moved in the area where there was a church in our backyard, and we moved there, <clears throat> I would hear the preacher preaching. I would hear the choir singing. I never heard that before. I would hear, you know, the preacher would say, all oh, you lazy Baptists, get up and come to church this morning. <laughs> and I didn't know what he was talking about. <clears throat> but then when the choir started singing, I'm a little child, it was so beautiful. And I said, God, you must be over there. And I said to my mother one day, I said, can I go to church? She said, well, we might. I don't know, you know. But at the time, I didn't know that my mother was so depressed and oppressed by my father. She was taking a lot of abuse from him, and I didn't realize it at that time. But when she said that, I was so glad that we made the move with the church in the backyard. That was my, my, my beginning of what God was going to do for me. And as I grew up and I overcame a lot of the things and I grew up as an adult, I carried all those things in my heart and still did not tell anybody, did not tell anyone, not even my mother, because of the shame, because of the guilt, because of I thought it was my fault and I also thought that my mother knew, but she just didn't like me. This is a child's thinking. But as I grew up, little did I know when I got older that God had me in the palm of his hand all, all that time. I didn't know that. And you, what you're looking at today is an end product of what God has done for me. 
I can now say that I am completely free from that guilt, from that shame, from that burden. I am completely free from it. And besides that, I have forgiveness. Now, this did not happen overnight. It was a process. And it was a process that was being, that was, uh, t being taken care of a long time ago. God did this for me, and this is what I want people to understand, that you can be free, you can get over it, you can be what God called you to be, you can be victorious, you can be triumphant, you can be whatever the Lord wants you to be. And this is what I want my people to understand, that there's no hurt that's too deep for the Lord that he cannot take care of it. The hurt that I had was so tremendous that I took it into my marriage. I didn't mention it to my husband. And when I finally did, I felt that he didn't believe me. But you know what? God took care of that too. Through all my trials and tribulations, he took care of that. And what you see today is what God has produced out of the hurt and pain that I had as a child. I am a victorious woman in the Lord.